What is going on, guys? What is going on? Ryan here back again. All right, so you read the title. This is a massive rumor. I want you guys to take this with a massive grain of salt, but this is a pretty interesting rumor indeed. Now, this broke yesterday, and I did not see this, but it broke yesterday, and it's definitely an interesting topic to discuss nonetheless. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the story. When it comes to AMD's Zen 2 processor architecture, the company has only confirmed two products. Uh, families to date. The first announced was the company's second generation EPYC family of server processors and last week at CES the company previewed its Ryzen 3000 family of mainstream desktop processors. Now thanks to a hardware leaker we may um, have our first glimpse at an alleged APU that will form the heart of next generation consoles from Microsoft and Sony. The APU is called Gonzalo. And according to the actual uh, product uh, number here, they broke it down. And this is what we got out of the actual product number. The um, Gonzalo, which is the APU, which um, basically will feature um, an 8-core Zen 2 chip. It will have a base clock speed of 1.6 gigahertz. And it will have a boost clock speed of 3.2 gigahertz. Now, what's more interesting about this is that it will be paired with a 7 nanometer Navi GPU. So that's what they're going for. And that's AMD's new uh, next generation graphics architecture. And more specifically, the GPU is being called Navi 10 Lite. So that's where the... Um, that's what we're getting from this actual analyst now that is pretty interesting we have definitely heard this more than once when it came to the rumor it was navi tech um we knew that we were going into this we were, you know we knew amd was definitely going to be at the helm right we broke that down a while ago now with this information it definitely it definitely lets me uh believe or it, it's leading me to believe that they are focusing on a lot of things that uh were missing now i do like i do like the survey that they put out the survey that they just put out was pretty telling as well we talked about that yesterday on the podcast uh, the rgt but um sony released a um survey and they're basically asking you what do you want out of playstation now they didn't ask you anything like like frame rates or anything like that no it was mostly feature based right like what exactly are you wanting for the ps5 uh, so sony's clearly gearing up for this and they're definitely going into a more capable hardware to pull out these uh features and tasks and you know we already talked about a while back it was a real, real while back with the patents for the new psvr headset you know that was way back 2018 but there's also that too they're definitely looking to upgrade quite a bit of uh things here definitely now what's interesting also now you guys remember I, I said this numerous times on this channel that you will most likely get the ps5 reveal in 2019 and in 2020 you'll get the actual launch of the system according to matt piscatella matt piscatella also believes the exact same thing though he put out a very uh, another interesting point too about 2019 that I don't necessarily agree with but i don't know maybe we'll all kind of have we'll all pitch in on this one so according to matt piscatella the ps5 will be forecasted for 2020 launch and the ps4 sales will likely be great in 2019 but down from 2018 um now 2018 was an insane year for ps4 i think we all know spider-man alone brought in the money you know what i'm saying god of war won game of the year and detroit become human simply amazed everybody it dazzled everybody so definitely 2018 was a year to remember 2019 we have days gone which has a new trailer that's showing off the environment how, how much detail they went into you know making the terrain more um realistic the zombies look better than they did you know prior i mean that game looks real real stunning and we know for a fact that we most likely are going to get death stranding because even troy baker keeps hitting at 2019 norman readers is very, is very funny about it but Troy Baker, he's like letting it all out. He keeps saying 2019, 2019. For those of you that don't know why Troy Baker is even being mentioned, Troy Baker is in the game. He's the guy with the golden mask that you guys saw in the um, the latest Death Stranding trailer where he summons the beast from the uh, lake. Okay, so that's what he's playing. He's actually saying 2019. Another thing that we know for fact for 2019 is The Last of Us Part 2. Even though some people believe that's 2020, I mean, that's already been confirmed, if I'm not mistaken, for 2019. So, you know, that's that for 2019. There's only one game that's not on this list, and it definitely falls into, again, to speculation, and that is Ghost of Tsushima. 
Ghost of Tsushima seems more like a game that they're going to launch on PS5 and PlayStation 4 to get the hardware out, but also serve as the final game for the PlayStation 4. And you think about it before somebody goes, I don't believe that because it's a new IP. Remember, The Last of Us on the PlayStation 3 was a new IP, and that ended up being the last game for the PlayStation 3 at the time. That was the last legit AAA exclusive game on the PlayStation 3, and it was a new IP, and that ended up being a big seller for Sony, but also a big impact for the PlayStation 3, as it showed that storytelling was most certainly the key to Sony's success in the future. You know what I'm saying? So that's what they did with, with The Last of Us, uh, the first one on the PlayStation 3. So I think they probably would try to replicate that same success with the PS4 going into the 5. And we know there's a lot more games that are definitely on the horizon. So... Trust me, I do believe that without a doubt. I do believe we have a lot more surprises at the helm, and it's gonna be a lot to look forward to. All right, so that's gonna be it. That's a I'm gonna end it here. It's a quick video. I don't want to ramble too long on this, but it's a quick video. All right, so let me know what you guys think in the comments below. You guys believe this? You excited for it? Definitely. Let me know in the comments below. Without further ado, go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. If you didn't hit the dislike, obviously. If you're new here, you want to hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit it. The bell icon. Stay up to date. And uh, by all means, join our new uh, Discord for the RGD Podcast, which we do every Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern. Thank you guys so much for everybody who came through. We had a blast talking with you guys like always. And like always, man, we'll see you guys later. Y'all keep it gaming. All right? Later.